The biggest question that I get asked is, Tootie, how do you add mods to Balloon's Tower Defense? How do I get all these fun, exciting things into my game? And for the longest time, I haven't really shared it, just because there's a lot of risks that come into modding your game, such as your account will probably get flagged, you could lose your save data, you could run into unexpected things. Before we jump into the video, though, where I explain how to mod the game yourself, I do want to preface some things that are really important. The first thing is, it's not a chance, it's more likely than not that your account will get flagged. If your account gets flagged, that means you won't really be able to play online, play with your friends, or really do anything, and it kind of ruins your account. And when that happens, it stays like that forever. So if you want a mod, please get an alt account or risk having this happen to you. And trust me, you do not want that to happen. So definitely don't do that. And of course, whenever doing any mods, you're putting yourself at risk because you're downloading stuff from people you don't know. And so there can always be the risks of like viruses and things. I've never had any problems with this, but again, you're doing, you're downloading something from a non-authorized thing, right? It's not Ninja Kiwi, it's not me, it's just random people around the world that are making mods, so you never know what could happen. It could corrupt your game, it can, I mean, ruin your saves, it could get you flagged, it can do a whole bunch of things. So be very careful when doing this, and only do this if you kind of know what you're doing. Be really safe when doing this. Of course, every time you mod or do anything like this, you're kind of taking the responsibility into your own hands. Ninja Kiwi can't help you, I won't be able to help you, so definitely play on the safe side of things. With that being said, don't use mods to cheat. I mean, obviously use it to have fun and try out new towers and custom things, but don't do it to join other people's games and don't troll other people. Only play online with other people that have the same mods like your friends. Also, don't join in competitive things like races or boss battles or contested territories. One, you're definitely going to get banned. Also, you're going to ruin other people's experience. So please do not do that at all. And most definitely, don't use mods to try to gain things. Don't use mods to try to get monkey money. Don't use mods to try to get insta monkeys or anything that costs real life money. Ninja Kiwi works very hard to keep this game going and having in-game purchases like that is what allows the company to thrive and pay for people's jobs and careers. So make sure you use the modding only to have fun and to experience new towers and new ways to play the game and to not take advantage of a system. By doing that, there's a very real possibility that modding could come to an end. So definitely don't do that. But with that being said, my friends, let me show you guys how to install mods into Balloon's Tower Defense 6. Now, keep in mind, this is gonna be for the Steam desktop version of Balloon's. You can do this with the Epic Games Launcher with a little bit of finicky, but you can't do this on the mobile phone. So you can only do this on desktop. In order to play with mods, you're gonna need a couple of things. The first thing is you're gonna need Melon Loader, which is this neat little thing that allows you to mod in Balloon's. So you have to go here. The links are gonna be in the description, by the way. So first you wanna go to Melon Loader, you want to get started, and you want to go down, and you're going to want to download this automated installation, which is melonloader.installer.exe. So click on that and download it. Once you've downloaded Melon Loader and opened it up, you want to make sure you go into your settings and click on show alpha pre-releases right here. And then you go to automate it and you have Unity Game Select. From here, you want to select and you want to find where Balloon Sour Defense is located. If you're on the Steam version, you can go to this PC, your local disk, program files, x86. Then you can go all the way down to Steam. And then it goes down to Steam Apps common and from there you're able to find balloons tower defense 6 and then just click on this the balloons tower defense 6 application if you're having problems finding where your balloons is located click on balloons tower defense 6 manage and then browse local files and then it'll show you where to find it after you do that you can open it and then make sure you want to download the newest version which is version 0.6.1 at the release of this video so i've already installed melon loader but you would just be able to click install and it should add it to your game after you've installed melon loader you now need to do one more thing which is add mod helper mod helper is a mod that allows you to manage use mods download and use all other kind of amazing things 
files. So you're gonna to wanna to go to this GitHub website, and from here, you wanna go down where it says releases, and then click on latest, which is currently 3.1.12. And then from there, you wanna download the modhelper.dll as well as the modhelper.xml. Now that you've downloaded modhelper, all you need to do is go back to your balloons folder. Remember, you can do this by clicking on balloons td6 in Steam, manage, and then browse local files. From here, you should see a whole bunch of new files like Melon Loader, plugins, all, all of this stuff. From here, you should have a new folder called mods. And once you're in your mods folder, you'll wanna bring in the two files you downloaded, which is modhelper.dll and then modhelper.xml. Also, if you're in your balloons TD6 folder and you don't see a mods one, you can just create it. After you've done that, if you open up Balloons Tower Defense, you should get this dashboard that kind of shows up and then you should get a Melon Loader loading screen if everything was done properly. Now, if everything was done properly, you should be able to see a mods button in the bottom right hand of your screen, which you can click on, and then you should see your mods, which we only have one on at the time, and you can go down here, which is browse mods, so you can actually look and see all of the different mods that you can see and download and play. So, for example, if we wanted to have R2D2 mod, we can actually click on the download button, and then we can hit yes, and it should automatically download. Successfully downloaded. So we have to make sure that we close out of the game and then relaunch it. Anytime you download any new mods or add things in, you'll need to restart your game completely for the mods to pop in. So from here, let's just test it out and see if we've got the mod working. And if we go to our towers, here is the R2D2 mod. Woo! And of course we can level them up, we can do all kinds of cool things. So now we actually have mods working. You can put as many mods as you want on at a single time. I wouldn't recommend it because it can get super crazy. And then you can manage your mods in here. And if you look, you can actually see a little like cog wheel next to some mods. If you click on that, it'll pop up the options for the mods. So you can actually do whatever settings there is, make mods OP, you know, change other settings, do whatever it is that you want to do with that. And of course you can always brown new mods as well. You can create mods if you want to learn how to do that. And also this link will be in the description down below. There's the official BDD6 mod browser website, which I like to use a little bit more, which shows all of the mods. You can actually change it so we can make sure we're on version 38 and you can look at all the mods that are currently updated and working so you can download from there and then you can just put them in the mods folder when you want to use them and of course if you want to disable a mod you can literally just click on it to disable it and then restart the game and then the mod will no longer be working. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want to watch some Balloon CD6 modding videos always. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. If your account gets flagged, that means you won't really be able to play online, play with your friends, or really do anything, and it kind of ruins your account.